my field work is all in Africa. And um, my first really big expedition uh, I, was while I was living there, 69 and 70. And I got a grant from Richard Leakey at the National Museum to do a survey of the northern frontier district of Kenya, which is a very poorly known area. And one day I was at a place called Buna, which is really, ah, out there, just out there. And uh, we would talk to the elders and say, we want you to find snakes. We do not want you to catch them, but we want you to find them. If there are two of you, one guy stays with a snake, one comes back, we will come and catch it and we'll pay you both. So this is how we got our snakes. And uh, one of these tall guys came in, and then their legs come up to here. This is, would have been a Somali. And he says, uh, there's a snake in a hole. Not in, uh, not in English, but say, ah, how far? And they always say, oh, it's not far. Well, how long will it take us to get there? Not long. Now, these are nomads. So you may find yourself five miles out over the desert running to catch up with this guy who walks for a living. But in this particular case, there was this, what had to have been an old British Army long drop, a, you know, an outhouse, a, just a hole in the ground that was about 15 feet. And I had this camel skin rope that I'd bought for some reason weeks earlier. It was long, it was braided. And so I lower it down, I have a whole bunch of African guys, and they're all, they wear kikois, these sort of skirts, and we wear them too. And... Um, we drop it down the hole, and I start lowering myself down. And I, I, it's, it's, it's small enough so that I can get my feet across the far side. I mean, I'm not going to fall. I look down, there's this big, of course, this big hood. I said, oh, my God, came back up the rope. I shot the thing, and it was an eight-foot spitting cobra. Well, the fun thing is that that snake was just described as a new species and named after my oldest friend in East Africa, James Ash.